Hi everyone, I have my favorite lip products here to share with you. It was a request to share what my favorite current or just all time favorite lip products are. This is a combination of lipsticks, lip gloss, a lip balm, lip stain type things, and majority of them are from the drugstore. So why not start off with what I'm wearing right now, and it is, if you know me, you know me, it's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Primrose. This is a blue toned baby pink. I feel like I've said this so many times already, but it is the perfect baby pink. Other lip products in my makeup bag kind of go in and out and they take turns. This one is a staple. It always remains. It's like the queen bee. The formula is really good. It's pretty creamy when you apply it, but not super moisturizing, but it's also not drying and $5. So you can't go wrong. Next up is another drugstore lipstick that I've been loving. And first of all, love the packaging, the bright neon red of Maybelline's Vivid line. And this is in Pink Pop. I love this for nights out or you know going out to dinner at night or something. It's just a very fun color. And I think pink, 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 pimp. <laughs> The name Pink Pop, wow, goes perfectly with this color. So I like to pair it with a, a Revlon lip gloss that is also called Pink Pop. So how perfect is that? I actually didn't notice that when I put them together and I was like, wow, these look really nice together. And I'm like, oh, same name. A lipstick that I just discovered in the last week, but I've loved so much. I'm just going to mention it already in my all-time favorites video. I don't know if that's kind of jumping the gun, but oh well. It's the Maybelline The Buffs collection. It's all, their nude line, which I think is quite genius. And this one is in Nude Lust. What I like to pair with this is actually another Revlon lip gloss. How funny is that? So this is Revlon's Supernatural and Maybelline's Nude Lust. I think they go really well together. I just Instagrammed this pair together actually just the other day and said that this was my favorite nude lip combo. Okay, so I'm gonna mention two MAC lipsticks that I've been loving. This one is Cream Cup. This is a staple for me in my collection as well. I'm a baby pink kind of girl in life in general. When I look over at my stuff, I see a lot of baby pink stuff. And for my lipsticks, I also love baby pink. This one is not as blue toned as the Revlon Prim, Prim Rose lipstick. This one's just more of a neutral and it is just so pretty and very flattering. Very creamy as well. This one is Syrup. I've talked about this a lot and some of you have said that you've purchased it and you love it as well. So I'm so happy that you've tried it and that you love it. So thank you for telling me. I love this lipstick for fall and winter. It has this purpley undertone. Very pretty, very flattering, can't go wrong. In 2013, I went through a phase where I was obsessed with Revlon lip butters. I didn't get them until way later, like way past the whole Revlon lip butter phase for everyone else. These two are my standout favorites. And this one is in Pink Truffle. And I have pigmented lips, but I would say this is a little bit darker than a My Lips But Better, but it's so pretty. And when I first put this on, first of all, when I buy lip products, I don't know about you guys, but I, when I get in my car, I immediately put it on. Like right then and there, I wanna put it on and I wanna try it out. So this is what I did with my lip butters and I loved the formula of this. Some of the lip butters aren't as creamy and you know, some of them are so also aren't as pigmented, but this one is creamy, this one is pigmented, very hydrating, and it's so pretty. I love this one. My other favorite is one of the newer ones, I believe, and this is Juicy Papaya. I don't usually wear coral orange type lipsticks. I thought I did, but then I realized coral doesn't look that great on me. But this one is so sheer and so pretty. It kind of is like a it's just a light man mango, it's papaya, a light papaya color, I don't know, a light orange color. It's very, very sheer, very pretty, very natural looking. It is so juicy. It looks really glossy on the lips. So next up, I have 
two, three balm type things, like balm stain types. And I guess they're not really stains, but they, they look like this. So the first one is not from the drugstore, so I'll get it out of the way. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in Curvious Caramel. This is like a nude, my love sweat better type of color. It's so flattering, very creamy, very hydrating. Love it. It's just a quick, easy, on-the-go type thing. And when you don't want to spend that much money, there are a lot of drugstore options available. But these are my favorites. And this one is from CoverGirl. And it's the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm in Berry Twist. I have a few of them, but my favorite shade is Berry Twist. I am trying to use some of the darker or even brighter colors because I'm not used to that. I usually go for the nudes and the baby pinks, like I've said. And... These two are allowing me to try out the darker, brighter, bolder lip. It's the perfect berry color. It's so flattering, very creamy. It doesn't snag on any dry parts of your lips because I go through phases where um, my lips can look quite dry and feel really dry, but this one just always looks good. My other favorite is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this one is in Standout. I know a lot of people have been raving about this one in particular, and this one is pretty, uh, pretty pigmented and creamy, and it says it's a matte balm, but it is very hydrating. I prefer this matte balm over the lacquer balm that I got in the same line because the lacquer balm that I got has glitter in it and when you wipe it off your mouth, you still, well, my, wipe it off your lips, you still have glitter on your lips. I don't like that. So I love this one and it is very flattering. I've seen a lot of swatches on this and everyone looks so gorgeous when they wear it. So I will finish off with two liquid lip products, and this one is the Maybelline Color Elixir Liquid Lip Balm in Raspberry Rhapsody. And I love the formula of these, but I prefer the ones that are darker because they're just going to be more pigmented, obviously. And this one is great on bare lips. It feels so plush and beautiful. I just love the feeling of these. And my favorite lip gloss of all time is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. I know the name does not make sense. It is a pure pink color, but aside from that, we'll just let that slide because it's so beautiful. I also wear this on bare lips. I don't like to wear it over a lipstick, so it's almost like a liquid lipstick for me. And I usually don't like cherry scents or anything like that, but I'm okay with it. I love this lip gloss. So I don't know how many I showed you, but those were my favorite lip products of the moment. I don't wear lip liner very much, but when I do wear liner, I will at least say that I do like the the Rimmel line of lip liners, and they're so inexpensive. And I guess that's it. So thank you so much for the request to do this video because I really like doing it. I love lip products. I love drugstore lip products. It was also fun to be like, oh my god, I love that lipstick. I should wear that again because I haven't worn it in a while. And real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to those of you who have recently subscribed to this channel. I am so happy that you're here with me for this journey. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And for those of you who have already been here for a little bit, thank you so much. And a big hug to Danny from Coffee Break with Danny and her shout out on her Instagram for me. It just blew me away and I am very grateful. So I guess that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!